There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome oh. to Sleepy Cast. I'm Jeff. I'm here with Niall, Chris, and Corey, or mm. as I call them, my friends. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. How or, is or, or the cringe autism lords <laughs> there we go. of the universe. <laughs> the super what's, cringe new, what's, what's new in cringe news this week, faggots? Cringe, cringe news. Yes. Cringe news. The cringe news. What is new in cringe news? Coming at you live with cringe. <laughs> This week on Cringe. <laughs> what new shit is out there that I don't want to watch? Tell I actually I haven't looked at a Cringe video in a while. I, I usually, oh, uh, probably Go Animate videos. Those are pretty cringe. That, they're, they're, they're very okay. new. That's like Corey, two years, that's like five years ago. Yeah, me and Corey had a, had a weird little marathon there last week. We were over yeah. at Nick's house. We did a discovery, a little discovery. In case you know, there is a subculture. Wait, 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 wait. First, you gotta start off with this. It was me, you, and Shad. Yeah. We were all looking at Go Animate because we're all huge faggots. You don't include me on this. I was Corey, you were the one who fucking started. It. I, it's, it was your idea to bring the go anime. Corey always searches. No, Corey. my Corey. idea was Roblox Lol XD. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. You always start with the gayest <laughs> phrases. Roblox Lol XD. Funny <laughs> haha XD. Try not to laugh. It's always you starting this shit. You, you, it's gold. So then Shad is like, we're all watching these gay ass videos that are horribly unfunny and terrible. And then Shad's like, I wonder is there go animate fetish videos? It's so, true. Yeah. So then we started Googling. Or, of you course know. you did. Yeah. So guess what we found? What? Well, uh, tell me. What? What? Instead of fucking fetish videos, we found a whole subculture of people against go animate fetish just, videos. Like, just like Wait, 400 really? rant videos about why fetish videos are weird. Were they <laughs> animated and go animate? No, no, they were just people either. I mean, some of them were, but they were like they show the videos in question that yeah. are the ones that are bad, and yeah. it's just like these like girls walking to room and like yes, 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 repeating <laughs> yes over and over and like Microsoft Sam. No, that was their it. fucking titties and ass circles oh, expand. That wasn't. Like there's circles. Nobody on Nobody listening to this. I don't even understand what you're talking okay, about. Okay, Go Animate is an animation program for dipshits. It's for little babies. Attention. It's worse than the Simpsons cartoon studio. Right. You, you drag little characters across the screen and make them always do the same expressions where they wave their hands in the air and pretend to dance and shit. Right. But what we're saying is we found a subculture of people extremely aggravated. Animate, they're filming vlogs about hating Go Animate. <laughs> no, not just Go Animate. Go Animate fetish videos. <laughs> so they're. they're what are the feti how do you animate fetish There's, videos? <laughs> you, you, you make these like big fucking default circles. Grow around their ass area so it looks like their ass is expanding. It's very, it's very juvenile and poorly done, and everyone's or you make like, them fart. <laughs> You guys are retard. No, listen, listen. Yeah, I'm not, I had no involvement in there's, this. There's, yet. Two, no. there's two subcultures. There's like, there's like the, there's like the, there's like the children right. like meme meme machines where they like do like jokes meme about machines. There's, oh, yeah, there's like running gag. Yeah, there's like a running gag about being grounded. It's like a common joke. There's like a million go animate videos about getting grounded, and there's I, like six I, movies of it, <laughs> six feature length films that are ninety minutes I long hate about getting that, listen to me. I hate sitting here sounding like I'm like, what are you guys talking? About? Like I'm a fucking hundred year old. <laughs> Old man, but it's like I'm just a normal guy, and you guys don't remember making any sense. Yeah, I like, look, barely making sense. Look to me. up Roblox, Roblox. Uh, <laughs> what is Ro Roblox? <laughs> it's like Minecraft, but for smaller children. Look Holy up Roblox. Shit. Look up Johnny Utah more. plays Roblox. Okay, I'm not doing that. We're ever. making that. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, that was cringy. That was I believe you. This, yeah. this week in cringe. Yeah, yeah but like go animated. Adventures. The more main screw stream cringe is like kind of like someone fucks up. At also, like, I think the guy's name that did it was like Gohan Satan. South Park Satan fan. It was SP fan ten or something. Yeah, it was like something South Park Satan fan 2015 uh -huh. VCP. Everyone was uh -huh. really against him making go anime. They made go videos. anime videos where they put him out on the street and be like, "Haha, look at him, he sucks." And then he's, his ass expands. He's like, "Wow." You <laughs> showed him. Yeah. Remember, remember 20 minutes ago when I said, "What's new and cringe this week?" I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you shouldn't. Have. It was That's your, it. You dug that one. That's up. Well, well, right. they're going. They're going That's into their cringe. underground cringe. Let's let's forget the cringe. Let's, let's do a 180. Let's do a potatoes. Like a Skateboarder, let's do a 180 here. Mm. Talk about something not cringe. Let's talk about skateboarding. It's St. Patrick's Day today. No. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. I, I was I was driving down the street. I saw a bunch of old men wearing their gigantic, fluffy uh, St. Patrick's Day hats. Yeah, yeah that's very, a bunch very of offensive. Dipshits playing bagpipes. Did you get yeah, which is a Scottish instrument, by the Did way. Did you get pinched for not wearing green? Uh, no. So I don't want any association with those guys. An old man outside walked up to me and pinched my foreskin really hard. Yeah, he's like, he you goes, you're authentic green. Irish. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he just kept walking away. No, I'm serious. Like, where I come from, it's like you get pinched if you're not wearing green. I didn't know if I was like a thing. That's assault. Well, That's like what I heard. You can get away with it on St. Patrick's Day. Jeff, you can't excuse, get away with my, that excuse my little throwback, but that reminds me. You can't get me, away with holding That reminds me of something that I heard uh, recently was that if you go to a furry orgy yeah. and, you, and you're not wearing a fursuit, they'll hiss at you. Isn't that like terrifying? That's actually really scary. That's terrifying. Why, what does that have to do, do with that? St. Patrick's Day? I don't think. I don't know. I, I was going to be felt up, but not wear your furry suit. Why did they, they hiss at you? That's they bullshit. Hiss at you. I, no, think, I heard this. No, I think that's like you heard this. I think that's like a Something small like group of like mouth breathing from where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, what? I don't know how we went from St. Patrick's Day to furries in like three yeah, seconds. Yeah, literally the fastest. Just, well, I, no, I, 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 I made the comparison there between like with them pinching you for not wearing the green and now had now had a nice conversation talking about sewing places. Sewing. No, we were talking about how depressing it is walking into like you know Michael's arts and crafts stores or just arts and crafts stores. Well, I told you it's because like just these old people are going there. Wait, why is I'm thinking it's the lighting. Why is it depressing? I think I think it's the lighting. I'd like to also talk about the atmosphere of these arts and crafts places. Yeah. You walk in, mm -hmm. harsh lighting, old ladies, yeah. potpourri. That's what I'm saying. It just, it just screams it, it death. Looks like, it, looks yeah, like it, screams place, death. it looks like a place where like old people go to die. Like they curl up in the felt. <laughs> and then they're made into they, like fucking knitting. They dry things. up in the back. They mummify themselves prior <laughs> like it's, old monks did. It's hard to go in there because they have like, if I want to go for art supplies or get something framed or buy like a brush, yeah. I have to walk through a literal forest of fake awful potpourri. Yeah, yeah it's back. true. Yeah, you Plants. can't. Everything there is just—it's like, like impossible to find just like a small. It is a combination stick. of everything, but I think it's the lighting that depresses me the most. Just that harsh lighting. fucking solid tone lighting. That's like I never realized that until you mentioned it. Yeah, well, it's I disgusting. Said, it, well, I said like the lighting is like in the back. It like starts getting darker and more scarier, and then in the front <laughs> it's like lit up. And that's what I said. It like people go back there and they don't come back because like there's no one's going back in the area with the fake brushes. Like po is that potpourri where it's like this like weird shit? Potpourri is the little leaves you break up and it smells good. Oh. Why'd you laugh at that, you freak? Because <laughs> my mom used to put potpourri around the bathroom. Oh, okay. Mine does <laughs> It's too. like an old quaint thing. I don't know. Make it smell is. like But maple. me and I were just saying the other day, we went to uh, Kmart and we walked in and we were like, this is really depressing. But then the more we walked through it, the less depressing it got. Well, that's because you saw toys you liked. <laughs> that's true. Kmart. It was like a Halo, a life-size Halo toy. No, but whenever I walk into Aldi, like, I don't like going shopping. Aldi was one that I could never walk into. I don't into. like going shopping because it makes me depressed because you walk uh, into Aldi and it's really depressing. They look sad. The lighting is yellow. room. It's like orange. And fucking, yeah, yeah. There's like drains everywhere I with black fluids. You know what's fucked up about Aldi? Um, when you walk in the door, they um, force you to go through the first aisle to get into the rest of the store. Yeah. And the first aisle is really depressing because it's mm. just all this cheap ass shit. Well, Aldi, yeah. it's and awesome it, in some ways because they have all their own brands that are a lot cheaper. I love the rotting the fruit that they leave out for days. At a time. <laughs> I don't buy fruit there. But. I remember I used to go to Rice Aldi's Krispies. with my dad, and he would give me a quarter, and Aldi's? that quarter would be mine. I would get to put the quarter inside to pull because you put a quarter inside to pull out <clears> the, the, the trolley. cart. The trolley, yeah, the cart, and. <clears> then I got to keep the quarter. Whoa. So I would look forward to that because I'd be able to buy shit out of the little yeah, stupid yeah. bubble machines. And Aldi, you could, you could a hole, you're open to everything with a quarter. No, so, wait, we were talking about AC Moore art stores, right? Yeah, AC Moore, Michael's, those, and Michael's is worse than AC Moore, I think. Is it? A little bit. What about dollar stores? You guys like yeah, dollar same, stores? it's the same thing. It's oh, just I depressing to walk in. I hate my, walking My dad in. owns pounds, like dollar shops. Yeah, in Ireland it's different though. They're kind no, of more. It's not. It's, well. You mean like dollar stores bit. or like dollar they're, general? They're called like discount shops, I guess you'd call them. They have like this reflective tiles. Like they all have these like reflective tiles where the light just shines off it and it's just should, should we talk about the stores that are down the street in the in our town oh yeah that are just like <clears throat> like awfully placed let's like bring this up all right so basically we live in an, i think we, we we work in a nice area but but it's the problem nice. is there's this main intersection the people elected it to take care of the town or whatever the they they're always trying to improve everything they're like Oh, let's let's remodel the street, the, oh, yeah. the street lights, and the crosswalks, and everything's nice. But they took let's talk, all right. Let's just let's just break this down for a few <laughs> items. First, on the main corner of the street. There's a a bug extermination. Yeah, that's, that's not only that. It takes up like 40 acres. The front the front window display in this bug extermination building is a like a bug museum. Yeah, but it's bugs that are in little glass cases that have been there from since like 1975. So they're <laughs> yeah. all faded and old. Yeah, they're all bleached. They have, like, like, Here's our termite display. What happens yeah. to shoes when they get <laughs> yeah. termites? It's like 1950 <laughs> shoes and typewriters. This like, is like in the <laughs> middle of the intersection. This is like the cornerstone of the whole intersection. This Shitty fucking bug store. Don't they refuse yeah. to like give it up? Or, like they, they've been offered to get out of. They there? were yeah. There was a really nice restaurant chain called like Iron Hill Brewery or something. They're like yeah, we want to buy it. 
And they have a nice place. They have other nice locations around here, and, but they wouldn't sell. Mm-hmm. And let me, let me tell you about this other place. The, across the street. This is the <laughs> one that's the most infuriating. There's other places that are shitty down the street, but yeah, there's a lot of little closed consignment shops around, right? Like women open up these little shops and they put up like nice wallpaper or and what? Or men. No, it's women. It's for women. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And not. <laughs> Equality, Jeff. But they have like little flower displays and the name of the store is like some little girly name, whatever. So it went out of business in this, no this uh, undesirable <laughs> <laughs> moved into the shop and in all my years living i've never in the even in the poorest neighborhoods i've never seen a store get taken over it's almost like a, a squatter moved in where he didn't even <laughs> change the name of the it's store true. it's still like it's called like colors of flowers yeah, it's called like colored colorful flowers or something and that's <laughs> the name of the store he moves in this is crazy. it's still called colorful flowers but now it's like the the windows are filled with like neon lights and, and cigarette lottery, ads and cigarette and ads lottery <laughs> signs <laughs> and now there's like this bright neon there's a bright fluorescent lights inside where you see all the flowery he didn't even paint over the flowery <laughs> wallpaper <laughs> and he's like welcome to colorful flowers oh my god <laughs> you just want to throw rocks to the fucking windows you're just like this is he does. this is a shameful display there's, a, there's another <laughs> thing that always irks me it's yeah. always been an issue i've seen with like these fucking places that don't seem to understand that the sun is actually harmful to your products these fucking idiots who have dvds that have been there since the 80s yeah, yeah, yeah. just fucking sun dried at this point <laughs> yeah and they have this this ugly sepia tone white and blue just gross colors like oh, no man. one's gonna buy to what, see- what's that movie um it, it's like no one's gonna buy fucking sandlot for the for fucking vhs <laughs> nobody's gonna buy, They're gonna uh, buy Sun Fated national sandlot. lampoon's christmas 2 these aren't but fucking movies anybody ever wants some, to own yeah, in their life some, you have to say though, there's a little bit of charm in those old like video stores yeah when they're not dried coffee? by their son but the funny mm-hmm. thing is candy? he he has these like disgusting old dvds that have never been touched in years and then he comes out with like new shitty dvds that, that no one's ever gonna is buy another place that should be bombed <laughs> It's, it's just, and, and that's next no, to the one true. that has all the old man toilets in the front store. <laughs> yeah. so all these collateral bi- damage. We have of so old many businesses in a row that should just be toilets and worthless bikes. The entire cares. block should be set on fire. <laughs> Can I just say one thing that really yeah. really gets me down? Yeah. It's when I walk into a store and there's no music playing at all, and it's the most awkward fucking that's, shit. That's depressing. No, it's not depressing. It just puts you on the spot because then they notice you walk in because it's so quiet. Then yeah. all attention is on you, and they're like, "Hello," and you're just like well, that, that's waving the, at them like a fucking. Idiot. That's the stressful part about going into small stores. Yeah, that's you, you walk in, you're the only one there. The owner is, has his eyes locked on you. There's no music. Oh god! And now you're forced like, oh it's god, worst I have to like, like buy something. Or that's like a reason why I don't like going into stores that I'm not yeah, used to because yeah. I'm really terrified of the first experience, like if they're going to be so on me. Because remember when we ate at that mm. Thai place and like mm. the first time we ate there, these just these people were just like. My mom made that. She's back there. She wants to know how it is. They keep coming back uh, to see how the food is. It's yeah, just like, yeah. fuck off. It's like, Ugh. you're going to guilt trip me so I never want to come back here? I'm, I don't want to go to your fucking clothes store with three racks ever again <laughs> because you were trying to guilt trip me because your grandma died in these clothes. <laughs> I didn't want them to begin with. <laughs> I said, we, My grandma we should, we should died say, um, yeah, there's probably like some kids in like Africa yeah. getting hacked up with machetes right now. And I, we're complaining <laughs> about walking into a quiet store. It's like, yeah, I, but I just, we weren't I born feel, there. We have our own problems. That doesn't eliminate our problems. I also feel bad too because... <laughs> it's like when, when we're writing with like Tom and stuff and we're just looking at these businesses mm-hmm. like these like home doctor office where it says doctor it's just like a home like maybe people like yeah, that yeah, but it's just so weird because you see like banks that are just look like they're just condos it's like I'm not going to go into a condo that's a bank we, it makes me feel uncomfortable we were making the we were, we were talking with Tom in the car the other day about driving down the street and we see businesses that have been there for years but we just can't imagine anybody going into them yes. they don't look like a business somebody would actually walk into yeah. I have a good one like, yeah, they've um, always been there it's weird dude near us there's a place that like it looks like a house and it says um we burn dvds <laughs> really the sign outside it. yeah i swear to god it's illegal it says we we burn dvds oh wow i'm gonna go to this it, fucking creepy looking house to burn DVD. i got uh can i get sandlot <laughs> we walk in and then they fucking that's a good move they fucking have a machete already ready where your tendons are <laughs> you're right on your fucking arm tendons because you're a freak who goes to a place that says we burn dvds <laughs> or they hold a machete up to a dvd they're just waiting customer. for you on the side like <laughs> like where you reach they have a Pee Wee Herman what? Ranch Act they expect you to like steal tendons. their fucking one dollar DVD so they'll hold a machete up to you yeah they have these DVD they have just like a nice like old lady maroon like dark wooded room Corey. and they just have DVDs sitting on a desk and you go up to it and there's wait just there's like just a, a pile of DVDs there's like a Pee Wee Herman machete thing that goes like this so if you walk it cuts your fucking tendons <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna go through that much effort for it a getting repeat business that way 
<laughs> but, uh, Terrible yeah. business. That's what it feels like when you see places like that. My dad owns like cheap <clears throat> stores. Yeah, see, I, I'm and not it's trying really to. It's really awkward to walk into stores like that for yeah. me, especially. But I'm not trying to like insult small businesses because no, I know me it's either. hard to start a business. But the worst thing you can do is bogart people with attention and bother them when they're just looking around. Like if they need your attention, they'll be like. Excuse me, miss, or something? Corey, did you ever walk into an Apple store? Yes. They have like 500 staff and like seven people in there. And they're yeah. like, can I help you? Can yeah, I help you? They flock to you like fucking I, demons. I, I mean, like how the Apple store is, though. It I has a very it. calm nature to it. It is not calm. Everything's shoved in a corner mm. and there's just DVDs. In, or not DVDs, but just like Everyone laptops. has like fucking like staples Maybe it's smiles just me, and they're like, can I, I help you? I hate that fake fucking like, yeah. oh yeah, dude, what's up? Oh, come here. over here. I'll hey, help bro. You. I don't know if get the new I've never gotten that. It's like getting swindled every time. Yeah. I'm curious what would happen if you actually tried to buy something with cash in an Apple store if they just kick you like, out? You like, are living you in like the 50s, fucking, my friend. Like, I'll seems take like, your money. It seems like there's nothing you don't know. They wouldn't even yeah, know You have to pay on it. your iPad? Yeah. <laughs> you, pull out, you, dro- you pull out change and drop it and everybody just looks uh, at you. Freak. They're just always trying to spoil you. I was like, uh, do you guys got those LED bulbs that you can control at your iPhone? They're like, yeah, then we got this big like oh, pack here. Oh, th- this, this pack is perfect. It's, no, like, I mean the, it's got like 20 light bulbs in it and a fucking home hub. It's like $500. It's like, no, I just want a one. Thank you. And they just try it for everything I mean, in your throat. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, the store looks nice. I'm just saying, like, it's shitty because the price, you're like, $300 for headphones. Oh, like, me, fuck me that. Me and I went in there recently because I wanted uh, an extra battery for the phone. It was, like, yeah. t- probably double the price you get for on, on Amazon. Really? It's like, fuck this. This is stupid. Didn't you get it, though? No. I oh, got it got- on Amazon. Oh, you did? <laughs> I saved, like, $100. Yeah, that's shit. Oh, man. Yeah, and they have all these, like, cool hip gadget section where it's, like, a drone with five GoPros on it. You're like, <laughs> oh, why do I need that? I used to like Control Spencer's when I was little, but I kind of, like, now the Spencer's, going, I go in there. When I was little, I used to it. love it because it was like it looked like it was so adult and naughty. But that is the trashiest store. Yeah, the the Chris, Chris is boycotting Spencer's actually. Yeah. The older you get, you're just like, this is fucking. Nice. There's one, there's one like big burly guy that works there. Uh, big burly, more like big fat obese hipster like ear hoop dipshit. <laughs> yeah, and he's just mean to Chris. <laughs> like he was always instant. nice to me, and he was nice to people I brought in there. <laughs> Chris, Chris, he remembers I Chris is the milkshake guy. Yeah, I walked in with a milkshake one day, and he was like, he was like, he created a vendetta for no fucking. No, this is what happened. I walk in with a milkshake. I'm like, <laughs> but there's a lid on it. I'm a good boy. Yeah. He says, um, wait, he said something like, is is that a milkshake? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, if you drop it on the floor, I'm going to like throw it in your face. Mm-hmm. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, sorry if I drop it on your fucking dildo collection. Like. God, he's a fat asshole. It was, yeah. I, I was like literally just walking with a milkshake. He's like, you dropped it on the floor. I'm going to pick it up and throw it in your so face. So now he has like a vendetta against you because he went into a store drinking a milkshake. But, but that's, you business. were telling me that story while we were going into Spencer's. You're like, I don't really like it in here. And then they were me too again. I remember it was the day we bought the fog machine. Yeah, I can't remember what he said, machine. but he was, he was mean to you. Why were they being mean? Because they're, they're like, they that was mean. They got their fucking dildos out and started throwing them out. You just look like Wait, the really? type that no. would drop a milkshake. <laughs> what do you hate more, Spencer's or Hot Topic? Hot Topic. I, I don't hate. I don't hate any of them. Hot Topic is just funny. You're like, oh wow, great. Hot Topic sucks. An Adventure <laughs> Time T-shirt. <laughs> hot no, topic Hot Topic is like, is like how can hot stolen fucking art and just dated yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like steal art. They they got everything that's like you know a fad already. It's like we're goths, but here's your corporate. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need be, fucking O'Reilly shirts and Invader Zim yeah. garbage. How can it be so corporate and goth at the same time? I know, time? exactly. That's <laughs> it's, why it's funny. It's, it's so weird. There. It's Here's your emo like, you want uh, your, so, Captain America you, Civil War shirt. You Trademark. want your Happy Tree yeah. Fans keychain and fucking like uh, Invader Zim hoodies? <laughs> they love Actually, Invader I, Zim. I no. <laughs> Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas, Shane Dawson, YouTubers. Yeah, they love yeah. Um, It's yeah, the worst store ever. Yeah, it just kind of attaches to the trends and goths by definition are like, and I don't uh, It's where you can still buy annoying times. orange like fucking blushes. <laughs> so I mean that that has to Should, go somewhere. You know that store we were at we were at in New York that was sort of like hot topic, but it was the authentic, scary, like hot topic store. The uh go it was ahead. me and Tom. Oh maybe it wasn't oh maybe none no, of you guys were there. Was that when you had the weird like ghost experience with Stamper? The masks mm, and shit? Yeah, there was no ghosts, it was a show. It was a show of like ghosts. Yeah, yeah, no, we went to this place, it's called like Search and Destroy or something, but it's legitimately like the most, it's like authentic, hot topic, scary, goth. <laughs> Is it scary? You walk in, you walk in, and there's uh it's like packed with clothes. You can't, you can't barely walk through it. There's so much clothes, and there's weird mannequins and scary dolls covered in blood, and it's run by like two Asian girls, and I don't know, it was terrifying. So like screamo well, playing. You know when you think about it or though, just they, like opera I, music. I don't even. Yeah, the music was like hardcore scream. Like you know the music where everybody's screaming. And was this hot topic related? Like actually? no, it's not actually hot topic, but it's sort of in that vein. Yeah. It's like where actual real authentic like angry this, emos go to buy their clothes. Was it the scream where it's like. Exactly. Yeah. And then he goes in like, "Well, that's crazy." 
like that kind of stuff. Oh, Wait, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> Wait, I, I just feel it. like if I kicked a clothing rack, bugs are gonna fall out. I just like. No, but if you think about it, though, like it's in the title. Like hot topic means like the top, what's trending now, kind of. I think goth girls are hot. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Well, it's only it's hot because I like it. I make hot. up. Hot the, goth girls are hot. Yeah, there we agree. It's like a type. Of, I didn't have like the balls to be a goth when like I was younger. Finding nurses hot. What's the latest in goth fashion? What like it's funny that they're like I know this is kind of a tired old like thing, but like it's funny that they're like I don't conform, but they're all the same. Back when I was in high school, it was the dog collars, the Tony Hawk. Haircut. That's that, you know the, the Jankos, the Janko. Yeah, you know, that's better than like fucking <laughs> really? long black uh, Severus Snape hair that. They yeah, I want to know. I want to know like two thousand. These guys are wrong. Two thousand sixteen goths. Like, what are they? What are they about? I think emos died the out same, a little bit. The same. Emos. Yeah. Emos is a two thousand more bandy. It's like ten years old. That's like our. They're more band culture now. Yeah, they're, they're more less. Like, they're less like fucking like Nightmare Before Christmas and more like <laughs> actual like bands. <laughs> that was like children's shit. Goths uh, right yeah. now that they're more about looking like a goth than acting like one. Yeah. That, whenever I see or meet a goth person at a con or whatever they're always really happy and nice yeah. I went through an emo phase not so much a goth phase I oh. went through an emo where I, you... I wore only black and I had black did hair did you cut yourself? didn't cut myself I wasn't that gay but I had <laughs> I had black hair <laughs> And cutting cutting yourself is popular, but I'm like I'm like just have black hair. It's like why waste your time cutting yourself? I was like, known cutters. Yeah, I thought it was a fad. I was never understood it, but I guess it's a waste of time. It right? is a huge waste of time. You're just gonna to have fucking marks that. for like ever. I've talked to people who do that, and they're saying like, if you don't understand it now, you'll never understand it. Like, it was just oh, like it was I mean, just like angsty, you mean like, you're shit. looking for attention? Do yeah, I understand kind of like, it now? It's to feel something. I know a lot of people who grew up and they feel so empty and scars all over. That's what I'm saying. You cut yourself, you're gonna have scars for like the rest of your fucking life. They got like. Millions of them all up their forearm, and they're like, yeah, "Remember, I really kids, it's them. down the street, yeah, not exactly. across the road." If you want to, Niall, I mean, that's probably, bad advice. There's probably some like don't do it, kids. Don't kill like, yourself. Deep rooted reasons as to why people cut themselves. Mm-hmm. I know really, it's like that. Should be switched. But I always saw it as like a cry for help, or it's well, like being unstable. Yeah, because true. it's like you definitely how you feel back then. You never really know how to act upon things. It's like when people want to commit suicide. Mm. At the time, they think it's a good I'm idea. I remember how I coped with like depression and shit when I was like, I know how you. That's what they do. They cut themselves, but. I, see, that's the thing. I was always a I was always a happy kid. I was happy, happy. How Corey. do you call feeling anything? So I was, I was a happy, happy kid. Did you guys ever have a stuffed animal that you kind of remember having? But then you, I, Jeff, I don't know if you like remember having no, a, a new stuffed topic, animal. Yeah. I remember having. A new, I remember <laughs> having a stuffed animal. I'm just so point. old. I don't remember anything. No, do you that. actually? I'm, I'm not being rude, but do you actually remember having a yeah, stuffed yeah, animal? Yeah, yeah. I had a stuffed animal that I remember. It was something that I drew. <laughs> I drew a frog with the the giant fucking ha- I didn't know what frog's feet looked like so it's just like this like yeah. weird like like a tentacle like fucking he was a real stuffed animal but you drew <laughs> was, him too yeah I drew a frog on a on a green paper with a marker and my mom or dad cut the thing and filled it with stuffing so I had my own freaky deformed looking fucking ugly oh, stuffed nice animal frog make it. but I, I had it so much that I eventually lost it in the basement they probably went to uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts to make yeah it. and I came across it one day and I pulled it out and I was looking at it I'm like what the fuck is this and all the, and like these fucking small beetles poured out of it what these like it's fucking tiny, it's like a voodoo doll these tiny beetles came out <laughs> like frog fucking, they it's sacrifice like one of those things that, that a cartoon would just like come out and I, I lost my shit because I hadn't seen the frog in years. I'm like, oh, it's my frog toy. And I poke in his fucking bugs, like, come out and just go all over it. And I fucking remember throwing it and never seeing it again. It's probably still in the basement oh God. with, like, wow. spider eggs and shit. I had, like, a, I had a little bit, uh, kind of a duck with a dress on. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was, that, I just carried that That's around everywhere. Well, I was wearing a kind of onesie. I had a really hard realization recently, very was, recently, where was um, I was telling you earlier when we were walking the subway, where I used to, my childhood was more so toys than anything else. Else. Yeah, like, like I like video games and I like movies and TV, but I really fucking love toys. Up until you like, still do. <laughs> I, I, I do. I like toys, right? I don't play with them. Yeah, you, you I stopped playing them. with toys at a late age when I was like thirteen, right? Yeah. But anyways, when, <laughs> that's this is the, where the story concludes, right? Yeah. So I remember having this little Taz from Tasmania. I had like, a Tasmania thing. It was like a little stuffed guy, and he, he, I used to play with it so fucking much, right? Yeah. One day it just went missing, and I was like, what the. Fuck! What the actual fuck? I don't lose my shit, right? And I, I literally checked every fucking crevice of the house, right? Mm-hmm. I looked everywhere in my house, everywhere in my grandmother's house, anywhere in the in the two cars, my mom and dad at the same time was gone, right? I was mm-hmm. I was actually heartbroken. Then I grew up a bit more and I got this Connects man. It was my ne- that was my favorite toy of all time, right? Is that the one you have now? It's the one I rebought, right? Yeah. Because back when you're 23, it, yeah, back, yeah, yeah, right. Man. Anyways, yeah. I I played with this guy as long as I can remember for fucking years. I played with it, right? And then one day it was gone. I was like, what the 
fucking goddamn! And I scared everything again. And then it was just yesterday. I was like, wait a minute. My mom and dad fucking just took it and yeah. threw it away because I was playing with the fucking toys yeah. that are stupid oh, late age too much. <laughs> Oh man, that's sad. I have a story I'm like so that. So fucking mad. Look, my parents, my parents were great parents, it, but, but I have a story up. like that. I was playing the PlayStation One like way too much during the school day and stuff, so they only let me have it. The trash <laughs> so they gave it back to me on Friday for the yeah. weekends, yeah. and uh, I had Spiral the Dragon in it, and uh, they took away my PlayStation <laughs> One Friday. And when I got it back, it was a big fucking chip in the Spiral the Dragon disc, oh. and I was furious at my dad. And then he like, he, then they were my both parents ganged up against me saying it was me, and they were mad at me for breaking the disc. It was them when they fucking moved it. And to this. Day, I'm like you, fucking assholes. It wasn't a very good game. Uh, I played it recently, and it, it, it did not country, capture the country. magic of when I was a kid. I always yeah. needed toys with, like something a, to do. I had a bear. I had you a little had a bear. bear. I forgot. I don't even know what happened to what it. What color was it? Brown. It probably, probably, that's just most generic. Like it teddy bear. It was. It was. It was just the you, most generic bear. It was, a, it was like you, it was called teddy bear when you. My grandmother gave it to me, and I just hung on to it. What were you guys' most like memorable toys? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where you put the pizza in the thing and you press the button and it fires out. Or I had a Tasman. I toy. had that. I, did you? Yes. That's awesome. It I, was like a it was like a vehicle. You yeah. stick it in and it shoots pizza. And it shoots it out. And then I had a Tasmania Devil toy where you spin it around and then he does the spin thing. <laughs> Is that his toy? <laughs> you, no, no, it was a different one. Did you ever go to like the toy shop and buy a toy and then just be horribly disappointed with it? Like, oh yeah, that happened. That, that, that's what toys are when you're a kid. Like you you, you expect this. The like, only toys I, were ne I was never disappointed with were the non-electrical, fully articulated ones where you could bend everything. I love those. They're like figures, yeah. I had a toy, I think I talked about that before, the Ash toy where his hand is always like stuck glued to the right with a pokeball in it so you can't make him run or anything but the one toy i thought was so fucking gay was it was a jackie chan action figure from the animated series where you push down on him and he does a little kick and that's all he does so it was just lame yeah ones that do one thing you're like this is all i can use yeah the ones you can use your imagination and do fucking whatever idiot. Like. i was just I, I wanted i was into transformers and i asked my parents for a the constructicons like i wanted the whole set <laughs> yeah and i mean that was an expensive toy i think that came in like a big box all five or six constructicons yeah and instead i got the gobot version Oh. Uh, because it's like it wasn't because it was like GoBot sports cars. Is GoBot like a ripoff of Transformers? Yeah, yeah. No, Go it's actually not Go a ripoff, but it's lamer. Yeah, it's they're lamer. like yeah, I guess they're lamer, but uh, people think of them as inferior Transformers. Every single you know, like, person the in the Go world thinks that they're just gay. I don't know they are. Just, <laughs> you know, they're, like, like, they're literally Transformers, but they're just called GoBots. Um, you know, they're like, from Japan oh, yeah, and no. they're stupid. They're like, <laughs> I had a Michael Jackson Space Jam toy. He wasn't even in Space Jam. Wait, not Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. He was really. Did he have a big stretchy arm? He had a big long black arm that you could blow <laughs> you could stick a basketball to it. If we're, if we're, if we're talking about toys, um, yeah. I remember at, at a young age, I didn't know what a model was uh, when I was little, yeah. so I saw this like fucking like fighter jet, and I'm like, that is so fucking cool, that's inside there? Mm -hmm. And I was little, I didn't under, I, you know, I didn't know what models was, and I, and I got it, it costed me like four allowances, and when I finally opened it, there's just like all these like fucking pieces connected to like metal piping and shit, and I'm just like, what is this? Yeah, Because yeah. you don't know like when you're little, like you don't understand that you're supposed to put it together. Yeah. To me, I just got <laughs> a bunch of piping with fucking blocks and shit connected to it, and I was just like, this isn't what was on the picture. Yeah. For a long time, I kept on trying to buy model stuff because I didn't realize you had to put models together. You're an idiot. Like a fucking <laughs> why, why didn't you learn from the first time? I thought I thought oh, I just got a bad you. model or something, <laughs> and then I saw then I saw like a robot. I'm like, that one has to be in it, and I got it and got the same fucking thing. Yeah. I remember everything I had. And oh, and also the shitty toy I had was like this fucking like. It was like ferret on a ball for some reason. It's like a toy you give to a dog. You ever, I, like, you ever own a popple? <laughs> a popple? Yeah, popples. Oh yeah, the things you push down and then they pop up. No, the fuck is a popple? It's a stuffed animal that you can turn inside out and it turns into a ball. Oh, the, oh, that yeah, that no popples. Those look dumb. I remember I had wait, I had constructs because my parents wouldn't buy me Lego. <laughs> you have like shitty like I eighties had, toys. Yeah, and like, like the shitty Legos. Yeah. <laughs> you have like fucking Legos. And Although I did, I did have the uh, GI Joes cool. were cool, and I had Transformers. My brother was into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I also had He Man. I, I missed out on and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had Light Bright. I had a lot of I had Light Bright. Pieces. That was so dumb because you ran out of black paper and you're like, I can't use this anymore. <laughs> Did you, did you guys have that fad? There was this huge fad for like a few months called yo-yo balls where they were like, yes! it was squishy ass like, you put a ring on your finger with a squishy string attached and there a squishy like a ball at the giant, end. giant like fucking plastic like heavy ball. That. No, it was it was Possibly. all rubber, but the thing was that they got banned because it wrapped around a kid's neck and he like suffocated and died. We we had had oh, that, I remember that. Yeah. We, we had one that was like actually like plastic and the rope like contracted together so it actually like, the ball was fucking plastic and heavy. Yo, what? Sorry, go ahead. Go it, ahead. That's what it was. It was like a, it was 
was a fucking yo-yo that you went like this, and it flew back so hard your fucking hand hit the wall. <laughs> so you're like, we. And you're like, <laughs> fucking recoil. So you like, fuck your like like hand up playing with toys. I had lawn darts. They the, banned those. Really? Oh, are they, could someone, can that kill darts? someone by like going hell? in their head? That, it killed or very badly injured somebody. But yeah, it's a lawn dart. They're, they're fucking these giant, giant fucking darts <laughs> that you throw at the ground. <laughs> and like, no, no, no. You throw them up in the you air. Throw them up in the air. Huge dart and it literally, it literally went up in the air and impaled some kid Who's, in the head. This is what I don't understand. That is the stupidest thing. <laughs> if you look up these like lists of like toys, who's these fucking psychos that are putting like sulfur in like bomb kind of like? Like here, things. kids, it's fire in a cup. Yeah, it's like don't fucking spill it. Yeah, it's like here, your fire. own science lab where you can make your own poisonous chemicals. You just follow oh, the yeah. instructions. You can so be your very own I had system. one. I had a chemistry set. <laughs> Was it like the poisonous? Yeah, it's kind? like here's your little bottle of sulfuric acid. Have fun. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you know what you said? You know what you said? You were into uh, <laughs> fucking kids are like mom. Yeah. You know what you said you were into He-Man back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. Those toys run like seven hundred dollars now. Jeez. Well, they, if you still have any? Oh, oh, I don't. If we're talking about toys, they'd probably have to be in pretty mint condition. Condition. Well, a few hundred. They've remade yet. them though. They're almost identical. Really? Yeah, yeah, but they're not worth as much. Yeah. The, the, if we're talking about those kinds of toys, like the My Little Chemistry set, not yeah. to be confused, like My yeah. Little Fucking Bake set. Yeah. There, there was like, like I remember, there's like a blowing glass toy set where you could like fucking blow glass and make it. So it, not only did you have to heat glass to like multiple that levels, can't be real. It's real. It's a real toy. Yeah. It's a blowing remember, glass kid set. That is ridiculous. Wait, I'm a shitty toy. It's, it's a question <laughs> if you want to call it a toy, but it was at one of those ant uh, farms. Those are fucking boring. Dude, I, you buy the ant farm, right? And you have to mail away for the fucking ants, and they send you a little tube of red ant, red fire. No. They sent me fire ants. <laughs> they did. Yeah, no. the ones that fucking, like, kill you? Imagine yeah, they, uh, they bite, you. Like, they sting they bite you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine this little kid, you have this tube of fire ants, you're like, how am I getting these ants into the farm? And you open, you carefully open it up. <laughs> they fucking just crawl. And they just start crawling out <laughs> all over your fucking <laughs> arm. like... All like hundred of them. That is not arm. real. <laughs> I swear real. to God. This yeah, is, real. is that back when you had to like use magazines and cut them out and be no, like? No, I bought the we bought the ant farm at the store, but you have to mail away for the ants. Yeah. Like the ants aren't in the box. Do you know those like creepy crawly like fucking like? Yeah, sets I got put creepy I got crawly things. They make like jelly ants. bugs. Yeah, those were also like molten heat when you fucking stick them in because they're like <laughs> it's just like they, they think kids want to stick. Like, they're not going to stick their fucking hands in the little slot where it's hot. Where at least you don't burn live in their fucking, fucking flesh off. At least you don't live in fucking like one of those African countries where to be a man they put bullet ants all over your dick yeah <laughs> <laughs> bullet ants that doesn't sound like a very fun toy Nile. <laughs> this was a disappointing toy which I wish I actually never bought but I wanted one but I was uh, sea monkeys the yeah. sea monkeys it's like a box it. they're like you like little people they're like, like little fun little people <laughs> fucking South Park they're brain they're, shrimp right? yeah they're just they're, <laughs> yeah, they're just brain shrimp exactly <laughs> yeah, they're just the most disappointing thing ever they're, they're, they're just like translucent they don't fucking... even hold pitchforks or talk or... no they don't have little cartoon faces on them or anything <laughs> when you're a kid you don't realize that like People can deceive you. You think that it's exactly what it is. That's why yeah. they have to start saying stuff like, like if like if a dragon's flying around your room, it's like dragon is not actually real. Yeah. And so when kids don't fucking buy the toy, they're all like, they have to say to lie to you is terms and conditions apply. <laughs> That's all it <laughs> yeah. ever is. They but can lie they, to your face. All I wanted when I was a kid was a pokeball that expanded when I clicked the button in the middle. That's like all I wanted. There was like this disc that was like aluminum foil that had like helium that you put inside of it. Do you remember that? It was like it was like a Alu thing. They promoted the fuck out of it. Like it's the new coolest toy. It's a it's a frisbee that's <clears throat> made of aluminum foil and you fill it up and it flies around the room. <laughs> no, I don't know it. Well, it always came with a fucking hole in it because we got three of them and they, I guess they didn't realize that maybe you shouldn't make your right. fucking thing out of like party balloons yeah are boomerangs a scam like aluminum foil like party no, balloons no they work but they're really hard they're really they're, I they're never harder boomerangs they're... were a scam do you exactly. guys remember pin artists Some those more. things with, with the pins you put it on your face and then your face is like yeah. shaped into the pins oh yeah, yeah I, I was like pins. I was like yeah it's like um, I mean I don't think you're supposed to these like to retractable your, pins it's like putty I don't think you're no. supposed to put your face on you it you are that's what your they show on the bar yeah look so there's a there's like a a million pins sticking out of this thing. You push your hand into oh, it. Oh, I it, love those fucking yeah. things. I was like ten, and I put my dick in it. <laughs> Me too. Did yeah, you? and it yeah. pinched my skin. <laughs> <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> It because it, skin, it, because it, it rubbed it. It, it, it pinched I, my skin too, but I, I forgot about that's it. It's millions it's of like, pins yeah. on your dick. It's, it's not one, pins. Don't it's one like, of them go in your pee hole at little, least? No, uh, my pee hole doesn't face into it. <laughs> oh. My boner was rest against my belly. Those things are sweet. I remember just always putting my fucking face on it and just like, but I remember I had my open mouth in it and shit. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what <laughs> everyone does. Yeah, yeah, everyone did it. Pin uh, are really cool. How did you not kill yourself, They probably carried like fucking influenza and all these different diseases. I'm just grabbing my friend's thing and I'm like, oh. 
Yeah, look. Oh, well, it builds up your immune system. I actually just had a you saying that I had a weird flashback to when my mom and dad got their Windows 95 and they got a new printer that was like top end technology back then. Mm. And uh, I tried printing out a, a page of uh, a thing I drew in MS Paint at the time. Yeah. But I was like, I've got a great idea. I'm gonna pull on the page so it comes out faster. Oh, shit, I, yeah. I, I did it like ten times. I was like, and it just like pulled it out. <laughs> and I was like, why is there these white lines on it? So I printed it out over and over, wasting the ink and breaking the printer. <laughs> and then they came in. They're like, this printer's broken. Wait, now. You didn't figure it out that like Paul was it? a little kid. I was like six. I, I figured that out. <laughs> Windows no, 95. I, I, yeah. I did the same thing. I was like, why is this taking so long? I did long? pull it out, but then after one, after one time, I had the like print. fucking brains to be like, <laughs> okay, pulling it out fucks the ink up. I, I, got lots of story. I got lots of memories like that where I was like, I had a little toy of a robot and I just like scrape his legs across the bonnet of a car because I thought it looked cool. You and guys then, are dumb. Me and Chris are kids. Me and Chris are like the same when we were little. I did the same fucking stuff. I used to rub my toys down until their legs were gone. Did you did as a kid? You regret you, really did bad. I, oh, I, I, I did as a kid. I yeah. won. Um, did I tell you guys that I remember an incident that happened when I was eight months old? Mm -mm. Um, I remember something that happened when I was eight months old, and no one believes me, but it's true. Um, I was on a boat with my parents, and my mom was holding me. Yeah. And I remember having a sucker, like we call them dummies in Ireland. I, I was in America. I was in America at the time. No, no, you know, like a, a, a pacifier, pop? pacifier, a ring pop. Uh, like Maggie Simpson has a dummy. Yeah. I had one of those, and uh, I remember, I remember thinking, I was like in my head, I was like, if I throw this into the ocean, will I cry? <laughs> so I like pulled it out, and I threw, I went, what? <laughs> and I threw it into the ocean, and then I cried. I was like, <laughs> and then in my head, I was like, okay, I do cry when I. Do you remember you were in? I remember are you joking. That. No, I remember that in my head. Are you and then, joking? No, I know. I was like, I was thinking. Of it in my head. You, you were having like then, variable thoughts, like fucking taking like the I scientific God, method. It wasn't fucking, in those words, but I was you like, were like, was my like, hypothesis is I remember, I I remember, <laughs> of I remember wondering in whatever baby <laughs> language you had. You were head. smarter than me. I thought it was like a science fair. I didn't even know about variables and hypotheses. And, and I have this, this other crap. memory when I was like really, really small. I remember I couldn't talk. I remember specifically being like, I cannot talk yet. But like, you're a liar. I know. You're a liar. I'm a liar with a bag of fries. I was pretending to be asleep on the couch because everyone was calling me cute and I loved it and they were all like look how cute he is asleep on the couch and I was like oh, okay. no this isn't fucking baby geniuses I wasn't a baby like I, <laughs> dude no you sound like, I, I was putting the voice on but like you, I remember no, yeah, I you sound like an stuff. old man who's like an old British man who's narrating a baby <laughs> David Attenborough yeah David Attenborough was <laughs> I, like, wonder, <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I spilled the milk I, I, I swear to god I remember that yeah I got a bunch of weird really young memories too but only little flashes why do you regret it. that we were talking about the most biggest regret oh biggest regret <laughs> yeah oh, you're throwing, throwing my pacifier oh, in the that's ocean. your biggest regret Regret? My, I don't have. I was a kid. I don't have any regrets. Mine was I, I was coming out of a pediatrician with my mom, and I picked up a rock. <laughs> and I was trying to throw it over a car, and it, it landed right on the hood of the car. Oh my god! And my mom freaked. She's Holy like, "Get in the shit. car now. We're going. Get it. Let's get out." I was like, "I still, re I still remember it." I was like, "I feel so guilty about it." You didn't know. I'm an you just thought it was funny. You were trying to just throw. I was such a little kid. Like, I don't remember, I remember how stuff I did when I was 13 and 14. Like I, I was like, I tried to fit in with a group, and I, I really didn't like doing this, but I needed to fit in with the group. The cool guys, and they were all throwing like little pebbles at cars. Well, that's not. And I was like, "This is fucked up." Well, that's to do well, you, you, So I started doing it, and then um, I did it once, and it didn't. Hit, it missed the car, but then the car started chasing us, yeah. and uh, the guy got out, found me because I was hiding behind a bush, <laughs> got me up like that, and he's like, "If you can take it to fucking police station," and I was like, "Do not cry in front of the cool people. Do not cry." And then I started like kind of tearing up. I was like, "God damn it!" Yeah. That's the, that's my biggest regret, I think, just doing that. I, I have a story. Did I ever tell the story of when I pushed my sister off of like off of like a flight of stairs when she <laughs> broke her arm? Jesus, Did I ever no. Say that? No. I've heard some of this, but I don't know if you told it on the podcast. Okay, well, that's one of the biggest regrets because I could have killed her, so it probably wasn't smart. <laughs> but it was like we were going. I remember I was really excited because we were going for ice cream, and my sister was running up the stairs, and she pushed me. First of all, she's the fucking instigator, so it's her fucking fault that I almost killed her. But she was running up the stairs, and she pushed me, and then I'm like, ha, so I push her back. Back. Then she fucking almost kicks me in the face running up and you know she's like sticking her tongue out and I'm like oh, you bitch and I run up and I shove her and then she comes back to try and fucking elbow me like this is like a street fighter th going thing going up the stairs Jesus and so I fucking take there? her and I we didn't well first of all there wasn't railing on the fucking stairs oh, okay so I fucking just pick her up and throw her off the side of the fucking <laughs> stairs because we were going up and I just had the genius idea of shoving her off the side of the stairs the biggest fear so she fell fun. down and wow. she was silent when she hit the ground she went like like clumped like that and I thought uh, the first thing that went through my head was I'm like oh my god I'm gonna be in so much fucking trouble I didn't <laughs> Not, think I, I didn't my think, oh my god I killed my sister but then she's like started doing that one baby like Aah! 
dead. And I'm like, oh, okay, good. She's alive. <laughs> so I was relieved. But my mom, she, that was the maddest I've ever seen my mom. Like, she picked me up by my hand. Like, one hand, she carried me into the air. She basically threw me into my Whoa. room. Like, she was so mad. She didn't know what to do. First of all, she was freaking out because she thought... I, I might have just lost my mind and almost tried to kill my sister. So she thought I was probably dangerous to everyone else in the yeah, house. Yeah, you psycho. So she threw me into the room and she pushed over a fucking, like, like, um... Cabinet? A ca- like Yeah, a fucking bookcase. She pushed it over so I couldn't get out. So the fucking thing was like that because there was no door on her wall. So she put a fucking bookcase in front of me with, like, uh, my stepdad and then she, like, was screaming at me. She's like, you have no idea what you did. She's like, you, you just wait till we figure out what happened. And she was, like, hyperventilating and screaming and I was just like, like, what did I do? What did I do in my room? <laughs> For some reason, though, when you talk about you being a kid, I remember I think of you at your exact head now yeah. on a baby's body. And so now, if you're talking about stuff I used to do when I'm a baby, apparently I used to actively fall downstairs and laugh afterwards and try to do it again. <laughs> That's real. That's not surprising. That's real. I remember my mom said she had those like one little jump stair thing set up. And I was like what? screaming wait, 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 and like, wait, wait, you know, like a jump stair thing. They're like things that you put at the end of the stairs where kids like fucking hop and they're like, <laughs> that's not a good idea. They're like that. And then she went downstairs and she was doing something and suddenly she heard like a, <laughs> and then I fucking like landed on the ground. But she pulled me up thinking I'd be freaking out and like, <laughs> Wait, but I was like laughing. I was crying so hard that I was laughing. Wait, they made stairs. And I was like means- turning around to try and crawl up the stairs to do it again. Oh, they, they made like stairs. No, trampolines? he's talking about those things you hang wires from the roof with a little diaper at the bottom and you put your legs in and you bounce oh, up the and down. Oh, the little mobile. Th- or yeah. not mobile. Yeah. yeah. So oh, that, I, I regret doing that because I could have Why died. don't we have those for adults? Those <laughs> things are sweet. Yeah, they actually are. <laughs> I'd love to get well, one because of them. Like strangle your balls, though. <laughs> the little harnesses. Not if you have a little hole to put your wiener and balls out through. <laughs> yeah, but then everyone will see the exact imprint of your wiener and balls. No, they'd actually see your wiener and balls to be hanging out of a hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Chris um, didn't speak English when he was a kid. Oh yeah, I didn't talk proper until I was like four. You spoke Irish? No, I, no, I spoke gibberish. It was like blah 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 shit like that. There's videos of when it. You were four? Yeah. I'm sure, there's that video on YouTube of me talking about the Easter Bunny, and I'm like, and he bishko that a scamp. It's like it was retarded. <laughs> I didn't have this any. Little sister is like, or your big sister? She's, she's like, one year older than me. She's talking Easter Bunny? elegantly. Yeah, she was like, the Easter Bunny is a mythical creature. Yeah, and I'm like, I did a book at Skyler. And then Chris is like, blah 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 blah. My mom and dad don't even laugh or react because they were just used to it. They're just like, he's like horrified. They're like, okay. That's why you're so good at sim talk. That's why. I think the same else. thing. Trying to th- I don't think I have any regrets of being a kid. Dude. I remember I went into like one of those like manger places. Yeah. And I manger. S- yeah. Like those like. Wait, like, are you like Jesus the, Christ himself? The way those things are set up. Those way those things are like set oh, up. Yeah, with, like, yeah. Baby stuff. Yeah. And I stole the baby out of the cradle. I took him. <laughs> you can't Jesus? do that. And I I, I was worried I, I was worried I'd get in trouble, so I put a lamb in there <laughs> or like a sheep or one of those. Like, like, you went in there, and then people were like, "Wow, it looks <laughs> so, so real." I put a sheep in there, and I took the baby, and I was I felt guilt ridden, so I put it in the bathroom, the priest's place. I remember doing that. Because I remember, like, people were going up, the and they were like, of your, like anarch- they, they anarchist were like looking ways. at it because you know how, like, Jesus was like, you know, the lamb. So that Saint- was you. You are the famous <laughs> lamb. Ah, so St. Patrick's Day, that our topics have done nothing but baby toys. And well, me and Chris were going to talk about uh, Ireland and the concept of shifting girls at underage <laughs> discos. Yeah, do you ever shift a girl? You ever go up and be like, give us a shift, will you? Yeah, will, you, will, you, will you shift my friend? Is yeah. that a moon? Will like you shift mooning? Jeff? It's like mooning? No. <laughs> what is it? Shift Jeff. <laughs> mooning. What is it? Well, what I don't think? even know, but I know it's not mooning. Jeff, would you shift Corey? <clears throat> what is a shift? Will you meet Corey? Oh, yeah, meet. That's that's. Would kinda... I meet Corey? Meet Corey behind school after. meet sounds a little more. I don't know your shitty Irish words. Yeah, so basically shifting is like kind of something that like young people say in Ireland. I don't yeah. know if they do anymore though. Well, uh, maybe, but back when we were growing is this up, like flicking the bean. Like no, no, time? no. It just means kissing, like making out making with your out tongue, with girl. tongue kissing. Why is it called shifting? I don't, I don't know. know. But uh, when we were, when we were thirteen to sixteen, I don't know. It was, it was like also, biggest I goal of a guy. I would not shift, Jeff. That was literally <laughs> all guys ever talked about. Yeah, in they just wanted like, to shift like, every did you girl. Shift anyone last weekend? And like, I remember. I remember like, what happens whenever they discovered shanking. It's like throwing everything off. They didn't get murdering. That's killing people with a knife. Yeah. Well, with a fucking homemade knife, but uh, yeah. like a did, fucking did, bit did of a mirror. Did you shift them after you shank them? No, no, because that would be necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, like, I remember it was this underage disco. Let's make that popular in prisons. You had to be 14 to get in. Shank and shift. <laughs> Shank, shank and shift. shift. Did you get a shank and shift? Did you get a shift and shank or shank and shift? Shift and shank. Oh, that's what is it? Did you get meated, shanked, and shift at the same time? What, what is, is meated? meated? Yeah, what is meeting? meeting? Meet is, is the, the same thing. thing. It's the same thing. It's just different, like, different areas of, of Ireland. Ireland. Why what? meeting? That doesn't make any sense. I know, it's, it's, it's the stupidest it's, it's word so ever. It's so confusing, because then you're like, oh, I meet my friend after school, like, 
the actual term for meeting, then people are like, ah, you're shifting your friend. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, we, there was like under... Underage discos. I remember when I was 14, there was a... I didn't get a shift yet. There was this like mildly retarded guy <laughs> called... Uh, actually, I shouldn't say his name. Call him Efron. Close to Michael. Afron. Afron. Efron. And he was such a fucking crazy... <laughs> Efron Jabodi. Efron I'm, I'm too lost now to continue my story. I don't even know what I was going to say. His name's Efron. Well, my, fr my first ever shift... Uh, was with Efron. <laughs> was with Zac Efron. <laughs> From High School Musical. You One, two, fucking three. wish. You okay. could never get as good as Zac you, Efron. You had dopey Zac Efron with you. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, my first ever shift was a game of Truth and Dare. And I pretended all my friends, I always get, I was like, I shipped everyone. But it was a game of Truth and Dare. I saw Trut, my first pair Trut of titties. Truth and Dare. Yeah, but it was the butch kind of dyke from like my neighborhood that I ended up shifting. And then my friend thought it was funny that I was shifting her, so he kept daring me to shift her. I was my first ever shift, but then there was these underage discos called uh, Millennium Madness, and I remember like the only people I'd ever get because I was like this little short fat. I was short until I was like seventeen, and then I, I just succumbed to being a fat, a short fat guy. I was like, I guess I have to be the funny guy now because I'm short and fat and I have nothing else going for me. So then I became seventeen and I ca I got like skinny and like tall. I, but anyway, you'd shift all these gross skanks and you try to finger them on the dance floor, and everyone would laugh at you and you get kicked out. And that was shifting in Ireland for me. <laughs> We're talking about like Epic. disco dancing. I, I think when I you're said thirteen and fourteen, do you ever go? To underage ones when you're no, like no, I, I the only time I ever went to like some the equivalents of dancing was like when I went with my fucking dad to the comedy show and downstairs was a bunch of like cougars and old people that are just Did you ever get with a cougar? No, they're just downstairs dancing to like fucking who slide and left or, or, or fucking <laughs> Superman or that one song by like um everybody in the house tonight that fucking oh, song yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone's just dancing to that yeah. and then like there were, I I don't like dancing I hate dancing Me neither. I have I no weird doing I have it. no pep in my feet I feel like a, a goofball whenever I do some it moves. you ever have a gym class where they taught you uh square dancing no, no. what no. yeah wait, wait that brings what dancing? what is square dancing it's, it's like a it, texan dance it's it's like yeah you know, it, it, yeah it, it's like Conde like, Joe dance <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't joking. know. I don't oh, know. Really yeah. 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 And you'd like put... Yeah, it's like... Do, 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 yeah, it was like seventh grade or something and yeah, the girls come in and you have to like hold hands and then swing them around. And I don't know. I forget. Yeah, it's I forget like you skip thing. around in circles and you switch sides. In Ireland, the bare minimum. Uh, um, school oh, yeah. was probably like way more like laid back the, for you. The, the, the counselor the counselor's like, well, you know, what do you want to do? Like you, you have enough credits to graduate but do, don't you want to do any extracurricular activities? Like, what? Fucking I said no. <laughs> well, Jeff, you're from, from Philly, right? Yeah. You, you were like raised here. Yeah. This is a pretty kind of liberal state. There's no... F Pennsylvania is like two thirds liberal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't really, you weren't really forced. Growing up, there were three things. What are you, you, what are you saying? If it was more, if you are you saying more conservative states force you to do choir and like other fucking religious choir? Oh, band. yeah. There was no. Well, the only religious thing I ever had to do was um, I went to Sunday school for a little while. My parents, oh God. I never had to sit through church. I only sat through church once. My grandmother made me, but yeah, I went to Sunday school a few times, and that was it. I don't, I don't know. I just don't, <laughs> I don't like it. I remember, I like, because I grew up in, like, we grew up in Ireland, and Chris. We <laughs> like, were like. Like, we'd watch TV, and the, you would hear about Sunday school and summer school, but I'd always be like, eh, heh, 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 I'm in Ireland. Why, does, why do churches suck so much? Like, why do churches, <laughs> why does the inside of churches, they just smell like pine saw and plastic, and they just have this awful, just, atmosphere? Well, it smells like funerals, because funerals no, are healthy. Yeah, and it's funny, too, because last time I went to, <laughs> I went to church with my mom. She goes to church on Saturdays for the Seventh Day Venice, and they brought the, the kids there, and you just see these kids that are so fucking miserable. They have, like, these fucking books and stuff with like felt and then they get bored and so they just start they start like fucking jumping over the chairs and climbing up and just like going through the books and throwing them in the air because they're so fucking bored like 50 just, kids like, rolling on the ground and they're like ah in the back that actually you, you're an actual genius that was the most entertaining part of church whenever yes. I went it's like everyone's sitting Hilarious. there bored of their mind and a kid will be like ah and everyone's like <laughs> Yeah, the kid next to him is like, the kid's like, he's like, <laughs> the babies start like screaming at each other. They like look at each other at a point and go, oh, another baby. <laughs> They're all like screaming at each other. They're like, the kid's like sitting there oh, shaking Oh yeah, the back babies looking at each other. Yeah, I remember like, that so well. He was like, he was like hitting the fucking thing and he was like, he fucking like pouted. And he's like, I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you brought back memories of me I like looking at like the ba that, yeah. babies and then the babies would look at each other, kind of give themselves the nod. They look at each other like, with I'm fucking shock like, I can't believe it. Another then, baby. And then yeah, they'd have a crying so room, and one would cry and be like, hey, 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 and then the other one would be like, hey, so, hey, hey. some churches have... really pissed me off. There was a church in Rosslare where they had a fucking, uh, they had a room at the back with a wall around it, so babies could be held yeah, by the yeah, monster we, yeah, and that... cry. It's like you're defeating the entire point. You're not doing anything in here. You're minding your baby. Well, Why they, are you? They have 
have speakers. They have speakers. I, but why are they even there, like trying to listen if they're because they, they want to worship God? You get like you can worship him from home. You with get like shrine. yeah, but it, that, to them, going to church is a big thing. No, in Ireland, nobody like, goes to church. No, nobody on planet Earth listens at church. Nobody. They don't. They don't. But they want to go to church so they can pray that to is, God. I know. What just, I'm saying just, is, just, why to be, go? just to go to heaven. They're like, okay, I, I'm. I'm that is not how it works. Well, that's how they think. Not a single person listens to a word that's being said. They're like, ooh, with their mouth dribbling and fucking bees are crawling through hair and nobody fucking cares. I remember being I, like, I want to listen. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Yeah, every time I was like, I'm going to listen today and I never did. I never did. Couldn't I'm, I'm kind of ignorant to this stuff, but I just don't know, what do these guys talk about for, how long is church usually every like morning? Like 40 minutes they in They sing yeah, songs and say passages It's only 40 so minutes? minutes? Yeah, but when you're a kid, that's like six hours. No. Yeah, oh my God. Even well, here is it It was minutes? actually like an hour and 11 minutes. What do you talk about every week? They, 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 they just they, sing and fucking they say talk like, about passages. They say like five of the same prayers every like God, like Christ has died, Christ yeah. has risen, Christ, Christ will come. Again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we have the same in our like, like, like uh, same Hail Mary, full songs. of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed yeah. art thou amongst women. Blah, blah, I blah, wanna, blah. I'm just gonna avoid. I, if I die, when I, if and when I die, if uh, <laughs> it'll be a more. I'm not. I just like don't don't even do the thing in the church. Just go out into a field or something and say a few words and yeah, just throw no, them in the air. If, if, I will make sure no one goes to a church. Even when I, I went to my grandmother's funeral and it was just the creepiest thing. Uh, just the whole, I, you know, I probably talked about this before, but the way the guy just silently ate the wafer in front of everybody and drank the wine and, uh, man, the whole thing was just so awkward. And then, and then they start singing a prayer and then I went all her a, friends in the pews, they start singing along and it's like this call. It sounds like whatever, a cult. Like if I die before I went my to parents, a wedding, whatever like, helps them, I don't care what happens. I was an altar boy. Did I ever tell I you that? like, I have to get no, out of here. I have to get the hell yeah. out of here. No, you never. I was an altar boy words. and uh, I got my. Wait, you were an altar boy? I was an altar boy. They I, were like uh, worshipped where I was. They were like. I'm really? Sure was, yeah, we're like. We, they we were worshipped well, like, by, uh, by, by the ministers? By the other kids. I got screamed in my face because I forgot to ring a bell at a certain point. This fat egghead old shit came over to me and he's like, you forgot to ring it when blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, sorry. And I, and I never went back again. Actually, yeah, you're not going to heaven. Dude, like I, I remember, like thinking <laughs> this is weird, but I remember thinking back in the day, it's like only certain people were picked as altar boys, and I was like wondering if it was like only the ones the priests. <laughs> I, I only, the, only, the cute, like, only the cute ones. Only the cute ones. The ones with the little dimples. If if I had a bold haircut like I do now. If we're going yeah. back to like when we're talking about like being in church, I remember just being in church and just this one dude just fucking smiling and looking at me the whole time I was there when I was little, and I would just glare at him because I didn't know who the fuck he was. The same situation happened when I went to church. Last time, I was just sitting there in my, everyone's dressed in their finest clothes, and I'm wearing my patented fucking Shadman shirt and my fucking jeans. <laughs> oh, Jesus. With, when, when but I had you, a blue hoodie, so you couldn't see when anything. When were you last in church? <laughs> when were you last in church? Last Christmas time, and oh, I was really? sitting in there, and this guy was looking at me, he's like, just looking at me for like 10 minutes, and he's like, do you like peppermints? And I'm like, no. And that, that was the end of that. <laughs> and he kept on like fucking looking at the kids while they were just tearing the fucking altar apart, just like destroying everything. And then by the end of it, he, gave, he was like, you guys want peppermints? And he gave everybody peppermints. I had a sneaking suspicion that they had fucking chloroform in. Apart from like funerals, last time I was in church. Chloroform's a ga- like, seven years ago, eight years ago. Hey, if if I walked into any church around here on Sunday and just sat in the back, do you think everybody would look at me like like you're not part of this? No, not part of I don't think so. Yeah, because me and Chris, me and Chris, we're talking about like we really want to go to like you know like a black gospel kind of church. So I was about to say, if you went to church, it'd be just like I wonder if they just look at us like the guy in the entire room. I like the music. Yeah, yeah, but I wonder if like if we walk in, fucking the pale white Irish people, like they'd look at us. You think they come in? And they have their own Bible where they talk about the white God, battles. Christmas fucking church. You guys, that was the bane of my existence. Right on, in Christmas church, it's actually way longer. It's like that's an what hour, I'm saying. We like went an, there when it was Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's like, like an hour and a half. Hours. And in our church, they do a thing every year. I'm not sure if this is normal, but they they'll sing segments of the Bible. And I think it was kind of improv. So the organ player would be up there playing a really, really, really long chord and like like duh, and it's making more slow and boring. No, it's because how else are you gonna do this? So then he's going duh, and then a, and a lady's gonna be like. And then he went to the thing, and he opened the door, Ooh. and then like, like they just sing for fucking. <laughs> it was fucking the horrible. whole story of Jesus being who resurrected. Likes this stuff? Fucking horrible. Fucking stupid. Who's like, who goes and they're like, this is cool. This is great. No, this nobody. Great everyone's stuff. just everyone's just afraid of hell. That's all it. it is. It's no, a, everyone's afraid of hell. So the reason why, why else would you go? They're fucking god fearing like old people. Why like, can't we just have like Greek statues everywhere? Like uh, that'd be neat. Why can't church? Just, <laughs> why can't church <laughs> just be like? Why can't I like? I'm just saying. Why? Why do we have this depressing? Jesus shit. Like, why can't we just have statues of Zeus and other gods and everywhere? The cooler ones. If yeah, I went Zeus into the, way cooler than Jesus. I, if 
I went into fucking church, I just want to go into a room where they give me like one of those like sausage rolls, silver, Wait, holy like shit, I don't want wanna... boxes full of cookies and veggie tails that's on the TV. I don't want to look at a guy <laughs> nailed to a fucking wall for two hours every morning. You no, know, this Sunday. is the worst, right? You wake up on Christmas morning, right? You see those big fucking presents, <laughs> like and your mom's like, "We gotta go to Patrick's. church," <laughs> and you're sitting in church sweating. See, I've never you're had so thinking about or... opening those fucking like PS2. Oh, we, oh, the we... worst part is when you want to go somewhere, and it's just like you're sitting there knowing that this isn't gonna be. You you look at you. The worst part is when you look at the pamphlet. Yeah. And there's like 40 million songs and passages you have to look through, yeah. and you're like, oh, we're, we're almost done. And then you realize that it's an older version, yeah. so they like skipped a few, and then there's actually still 16 more things to yeah. sit through. Here's what sucked. I couldn't sleep in for Sunday school. I couldn't sleep in. I had to get in a shirt and tie. You had to tuck your shirt oh, in. You had to tuck my shirt in. You went Sunday school. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I had to go that, sit in this God. other this room with a bunch of other drooling retards. <laughs> oh, horrible. Of, oh, my God. Yeah, this one woman, she sent her kid there every every Sunday, and the kid was literally retarded, and I would shoot spitballs at him. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. It's kind of mean. You're literally but... going there to become a better person, but you're yeah. like bullying a retard. Good job. Become a better it was bullshit because my mom and dad wouldn't go to the church service. They just drop me off and go home. <laughs> like, why am I even here? <laughs> Who talked you into doing this? Why am I here? <laughs> so they were like, tuck your shirt in, get ready for school. Yeah. And they just fucking come back later and they're like, yeah, I don't know what the. I, I want to ask him about them. Like, like my dad was was a kind of went to Catholic school and he was. I'm left handed. My dad was left handed. They, but they kept hitting his hand with a ruler until he was right handed. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, really? What the fuck? Until he was right handed. Until he started using his right hand. That is now really he still is uses his right insane. hand. That is an extremely good description. That's what they used to do. <laughs> yeah, my mom and dad got the absolute hand slapped off my rulers in school for not fucking being able to write with their left hand. They there's something weird about in the religious circles where they feel left-handers are evil or, or le left-handed people are wrong. You have to use your right hand. So they just slap a ruler even though he has to somehow they beat learn your right hand. hand. They beat your hand until you start writing with your right hand. Yeah. What if you wrote shitty? Do they beat slap your hand for having bad handwriting? No, then they just say <laughs> so nobody more. fucking wins? I don't know. Getting slapped it's like a cruel ruler. and unusual punishment for something you can't help. It's disturbing and I yeah. That's I, like smacking someone in the face with like little ticks of Tourette's. Like someone who's like who has to like tick their head? You're like Look, fucking hit him with a I'd newspaper. Throw those and they're like, Stop. I wouldn't it's care. Like nonsense. That's like removing a woman's ovaries because you don't know how babies work. You're like, she has a <laughs> Satan in him. What is this thing? Uh, guys don't have this. Get rid of it. And then fucking ah. cutting them open and getting rid of it. I don't know how them. anybody likes this stuff. I don't know how you. I don't know how anybody stands it. How they get up in the morning like I can't wait. Do I know something funny that I was I was talking to my mom recently? What's, I hope my mom never listens to this stuff because I'll feel Corey? bad. She, I was talking to her about the elections and stuff, but then I brought up something. Uh, I was talking about ISIS, and she said, "Did you know that ISIS is just nothing but special effects?" <laughs> she said those words. <laughs> this is exactly what she said. She's right. She's like, they're she's really like, good at editing. All the beheading. This is all manufactured by the government. And she and knows I, this. And I was like, "What?" And then my brother, <laughs> my brother, who's into like game, like he knows the army and he knows like the games of like he plays like Call of Duty and he loves guns and yeah. like army and war. Therefore, yeah. and when she told him that, he was like, "That is the stupidest fuck." thing I've ever heard in my life and, and like he, he usually like trusts her but, but your he's mom's just a conspiracy like, theorist, he's right? just like there's no way that's true there's no way that's true it's it, it, it's proven that they're they're actual people like they're well, people yeah, but they, they are but, and she's like even if it's not true I believe it's real there's, is your mom voting Trump I was just fuck wondering no she's like she, my mom's like all of them are, are the fucking Satan reincarnated and Jesus is the real president uh, <laughs> okay. Jeff yeah. do you want to talk about a story that like happened one week it was just like it was just nonsense sure three days in a row it just kept happening where we went to order food or, or the curse of like Outback Steakhouse mm -hmm. I don't know how interesting it would be but I think it's I went, pretty funny I, think the, I went to Outback it's pretty fucking or, funny basically Outback Steakhouse is you know a nice place yeah. And dinner time when we go, everything, you know, it's busy as hell, but, you know, everybody gets their orders right. Every, the food's fine. But something weird goes on where they decided they're going to open for lunch. The and the lunch crew in there is very inept or something. There, there's, it, like, no one in there. And it's, like, it takes longer yeah, it's, than dinner. It's empty. And they get our orders wrong every single time. Yeah. My, my order especially. But <laughs> everything everything I order is wrong or backwards <laughs> or upside down. I don't, know, I don't know how interesting this is going to be. No, it's funny because there's this one specific time where Jeff ordered a steak. And you ordered, um, what was it? I ordered a, a New York strip steak. A New York strip steak. And, and I ordered, ordered a prime rib. I ordered a medium New York strip steak. You ordered a medium rare yeah, prime rib. Prime rib. Yeah. Not prime rib, but rib. Ribeye, rib yeah. And then they brought them out, and I swear, and you know, everybody fucking knows. The strip steak is like a thin steak. Yeah. And the ribeye is like a thick steak. Yeah. I got a thick medium rare steak. <laughs> and you like, got a thin they, medium they, steak. She fucking comes out on a plate and she's like one ribeye and it's like a tiny steak. At the time, I'm just like, I'm, my brain is focused on, I want this steak so fucking bad. Yeah. And so I'm just like cutting and I'm eating it. And then I'm looking at it and Jeff's just like, 
And I'm like, what? And then you're like, that's not a ribeye. And then, then your steak comes out <laughs> almost instantly. And she's like, in one New York strip. And then she puts it down. And you're just like, then you cut it up. And you're like, that's, not New York you're like that's medium rare. And what's fucked up is we we told them. We're like, this is wrong. The steak is wrong. And she's like, no, no. That's- See, I'm not one to complain usually. But yeah. they said no. I've ordered, so many, I've ordered so many steaks in my life. I know what a fucking New York yeah. steak looks like. I know what a ribeye looks like. And these two, this waitress. Three. Was, it was three of them. Yeah, it was two. It was like a waitress man. Manager and like the main manager, and they're yeah. all. Well, the one, the men, the one manager didn't know what was going on. She wasn't no, claiming no, she anything. Was completely but the waitress and the and the head manager were adamant. They were adamant. That's like no, that's a New York strip steak, <laughs> and that is <laughs> a ribeye. I'm like you're wrong. The steakhouse. It's like that is a like the tiny little steak. Like no, that's a ribeye. Mm. That's a ribeye. But what's funny is even if that was the case, they, they left a crucial mistake in the, in the fucking investigation that could have gone through. <laughs> uh, the fucking steak. Your steak was medium rare, and mine was fucking like medium. Uh. So not only did they give me your steak cooked medium how you asked but they also gave you my steak cooked worse what did, than what medium rare what did they do last like time they, they, they charge us like $30 oh yeah than I, I said I said I'm purchasing all this and you got like a fucking tea and a steak and you end up paying like $40 it's like oh yeah, yeah, sorry yeah. we got the cards confused it's <laughs> like, ended up charging us both double or something yeah, and then forgot just, my oh man I don't know how, I don't just, know what's going so on we, there. we've had experience talk about like remember when we went to fucking IHOP all those experiences at IHOP all, like which like there was a lot which yeah there was a lot like IHOP Always fucks up in some fucked up. I do you know what they do too, though? The IHOP we go to the segregation. They segregate. Yeah, yeah segregate. Segregate. we already talked about that. Oh, did we? Yeah, the white and black people. But um, one time, me and Stamper and my friend Jack went to. Uh, we were out at Magfest. Oh, and Patty was there too. But we went to uh, this restaurant called like 007 or whatever. I don't know what it's called. But anyways, <laughs> it was the most fancy ass, expensive place. Right, we couldn't find anywhere to eat because it was like a busy Magfest. And we were like, you know what? We're, we're all we're all like on holiday kind of. Let's kind of go <clears> spend <throat> big and get a really fucking good lobster meal, right? Mm-hmm. So we went in there. I ordered uh, something simple, lasagna, right? I paid sixty dollars for oh, it. God. Wait, so what? it mu- it better be fucking brilliant, right? Yeah. So um, they brought out the meals. My lasagna was extremely cold, like uh, like yeah. ice cold. And I was like, uh, "Excuse me." Mm. He was like, "What?" And I was like, "This is really cold." And he was like. I'll go heat it up for you. And he walked away with a big sour puss on him, right? <laughs> and then he brought it back out. And then I put my fork in. I took a bite. I'm like, it's still fucking cold. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me. Uh, this is still cold. He's like, he just picked it up really violently, walked off, right? And then he brought it back. Now it was burnt to a crisp, right? I was like, are you f-? not like this time he got back and I saw it instantly. I was like, are you fucking kidding me out loud? And, and Stamper was like, come on, dude. And Jack was just like, yeah. <laughs> he was like laughing because it was so ridiculous, right? And Patty was just eating like, mm, dude, mine's okay. But wait, wait. But anyways, then the guy's like, <sighs> and he walks away with it, right? He brings back a new one, and he brought back a plate full of baby cookies and uh, shots of, like, green, like, alcohol shit. And <laughs> Stafford's like, what is this, poison? <laughs> wait, 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 really? Along with your meal again? Yeah, he's what? like, he's like... I'm very sorry. Here's uh, free uh, drinks and cookies, like courtesy of the restaurant. And Stan was like, "What is this poison?" What if and we, we were all like, "Yeah!" We, point, we like pointed and laughed. And then we, and then I ate it, and it was like lukewarm. And I was like, Come on, "I am not fuckers. going to eat with you guys anyway." No, dude, yeah. I. <laughs> So funny. You had the worst trouble with fucking lasagna and Italian food at places where you expect to get yeah, Italian food. Yeah, like my food. fucking uh, pizza that tasted yeah, like baby fucking, sick and fucking your cardboard. Pizza. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, Olive Garden. Pizza. Yeah, the Olive Garden. That's oh. why I've never eaten there since. Olive Garden. Yeah, everyone says Olive Garden is shit. And I went there because I always wanted to go there. And the breadsticks are good. Lasagna. Though. Yeah, there's something about lasagna where it's just like it fucking. It's always cold. Like it never gets warm. Like it, <laughs> even if it's like you eat it, the only time it's delicious is when like your parents make it and it's like it's perfectly cooked. It's like ready at the time. You're just like this is the best fucking lasagna I've ever had. Just whenever but you I would, never want to reheat lasagna ever because I can never get it. Cooked. If you even a group, they'll like leave meals to the side for minutes until the next meal for the person your group is done. So they'll bring it all out together. So you're like, oh, we're all getting our meal together. This is fair, but yours is now cold because they left it to the side for yeah, so I long. Think lasagna should be put in just like a heating vat. How what what time does it say on there? It, it was like one thirty, I'd say. Around. Well, you could just name this episode First World Problems." Yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, definitely that's what it really is. World that's what it's called. First World Problems." We're just a bunch of sissy baby. Plus the idiots. We Sorry. talked about yeah. Our St. Patty's epidemic episode was yeah. about church and toys. <laughs> just, well, we brought up St. Patty's about fifty it. times. That we barely got yeah, into. We it. barely talked. Saint about Pat- it. You know, kids, it's just a made up holiday. Let, let's end it with this, okay? Oh, St. Patrick's Day is a fucking shitty day. Is it? it is, is it like it's a su- shitty day where if you don't wear green, you get pissed? Is it like no. super St. Patty's Day in Ireland? No, it's like, not. It, America I mean, celebrates it way harder. Here's more. It's America's fucking excuse to be like, oh, we love the Irish.
embarrassed, but they all get drunk, scream at each other, pour beer on each other, and act like fools. Whereas in Ireland, they do that every day anyway. anyway. Look, I don't want to be a party pooper, but I think you should all be fucking ashamed of yourself. Well, well actually, the whole concept of St. Patrick's Day is that St. Patrick got rid of the snakes in Ireland, which is bullshit anyway. So the whole so like, idea a snake in the first place. Anyway, this has been Sleepy Cats. Take it away, St. Patrick. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all you snakes go away. You are all grounded. Yes, 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 yes. Goodbye.